Hello everyone, this is Chris Reed here, Product Manager at Enable Technologies. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can configure in Central to generate tickets in ConnectWise. The first step is that you must log into your in Central server and at the SO system or even the customer level, go to Administration, PSA Integration, and then Configure PSA Integration. On this screen, you must choose ConnectWise and fill in the appropriate fields. For more information on how to fill out those fields and what's required there, please refer to the Exporting Customers and Devices video. Once you have the communication between Central and ConnectWise set up correctly, in order to create tickets, you must first create what's called a ticketing recipient. This is done under PSA integration ticketing. As you can see here, I already have two ticketing recipients set up as examples. One is going to generate a ticket whenever a self-healing task is run. Another is going to generate a ticket whenever there's a server down issue and a server experiences a, a critical problem. It's important to note that you can create these ticketing recipients at the SO level or the system level or the customer level. This makes it easy for you to create system-wide ticketing recipients that apply generically to all sorts of situa situations and also that you can create uh, ticketing recipients that are specific to a customer that deal specifically with their details, their configuration, how they have things set up. Let's go ahead and begin by taking a look at the server down ticketing recipient. First of all, notice that Encentral synchronizes its data with ConnectWise. This is to ensure that when you're editing the, the, the ticketing recipient, uh, you already have the most recent data um, present and, and available to you for configuration. So things like the service board, the statuses, the service types, service subtypes, and so on, all get pulled dynamically from ConnectWise, making sure that you're making uh, configuration changes with the most recent data. So, when you create a ticketing recipient, you have a few options. Give it a name and a description, and then on the Ticket Details tab, you must configure what sort of properties you want the ticket to have when the ticket's generated. What service board to go into? What service type and subtype? What's the source? What's the priority? How many hours are budgeted to this ticket? What's the required date? And so on. Going to the Notification Settings tab, this is where you can configure how Incentral will handle things like duplicate tickets, repeat tickets, issues that keep transitioning from uh, normal to failed and back again. Let's walk through the options. You can choose whether or not to append the notes to the Detailed Description section of the ticket or the Resolution section. It's up to you. You can choose whether or not you want the uh, alert in Incentral to be acknowledged when the ticket is created. Most of the time you do because you want any sort of escalation that you have set up in Central to be um, halted as soon as the ticket is created in ConnectWise. You want to use the ConnectWise escalation rules and, and logic at that point. When an issue is resolved, what would you like to do? And by resolved, I mean return to a normal state. Do you want to add a note to the ticket but don't change the ticket status because your technician is still working on it? Likely. Do you want to change the ticket status to be something specific? Possibly. Maybe you want to change it to be... Uh, closed. But maybe you only want us to change the status to be closed if the ticket's already in an in-progress state. If the ticket's in a new state, you don't want us to change it to close. That's what this option down here lets you do, is to choose which statuses the ticket must be in in order for us to change the status to be closed. Down below, in the Handle Repeat Failures section, this is where you, you can control how many hours in Central will um, not create a new ticket for an event that keeps reoccurring. As an example, if a CPU service keeps spiking, normal and then failed, and normal and then failed, the first time it transitions to failed, and Central will create a ticket against that device. If the ticket goes back to normal though, or the service goes back to normal, and then again, 15 minutes later, goes back up to a failed state, instead of in Central creating a new uh, ticket for that issue, it will actually append a note to the existing ticket. If the ticket's been closed, it'll reopen the ticket. So you have an opportunity here of defining how long that window is going to be in hours. How long should Central remember the original ticket that was created? And when it does uh, um, reopen the ticket, for example, what should it change the ticket status to? Down below, you can choose how Central should match uh, Windows event log tickets to, de to determine if they're duplicates or not. This is done by the ID of the event, the source of the event, or the description, the body of the event. In some cases, you may only want to go off of ID and source because the description is, in fact, going to change every time, but the ID and the source together are enough to confirm that it's a duplicate ticket. So you have the option here of just choosing what properties and central looks at in order to determine whether an event log ticket is a duplicate or not. 
Finally, down below, you can choose to associate this ticketing recipient to the appropriate notification profiles. And you can see here, I've already got this set up to be a recipient of a number of different notification profiles. If we take a look at notifications, just to quickly show you, if I take a look at zero minute delay, what I can see here is there's my ticketing recipient. So a ticketing recipient, even though it's not an Central user account, does show up in notifications in just the same way. And it's always called ticketing recipient, comma, and then the name that you chose. Now, the second example ticketing recipient that I created is for self-healing. One of the really great use cases for ticketing recipients is that now whenever in Central performs a self-healing task for you, or perhaps a scheduled task, it's running a script on a, on a daily or weekly or monthly basis, you can have that generate a ticket in ConnectWise. And more importantly, once this finishes synchronizing, you can have it generate time entries automatically for those tickets. This means that you can now start showing your customers uh, value in terms of what Incentral is doing for them automatically. Look, it's done four or five defrags over the past week, and guess what? Those each count for four hours of billable time. So having a ticketing recipient that can um, generate a time entry automatically is really valuable for showing your customers what it is that Incentral is doing behind the scenes for them. Now, in terms of this ticketing recipient, I have it set to go to a different, uh, you know, a different service board, different service type. It's got slightly different uh, uh, properties associated to it. Notification settings, I'm not so worried about, but it's the time entry tab that's important. In here, I can enable or disable whether or not Ancentral will add a time entry to this ticket, and then I can choose the various sub options associated with that time entry: the work type, the work role, how many hours to consume, what sort of a note to add uh, to that time entry and where to append that note, and also if there's any internal notes. Very quick, very easy to set up, but it makes it so that I can now automatically have time associated to the activities that Incentral is performing. As you can see, creating ticketing recipients is very easy. It's very straightforward to do. It's excellent that, that Incentral syncs with ConnectWise every time to make sure that you have the most recent data in case you've changed your service boards, you've changed your properties, that sort of thing. I'd encourage you, to explore all the different ways that you can set these uh, ticketing recipients up. It's very straightforward to do, and it adds a lot of value in terms of the integration between Incentral, the tickets that it generates, and ConnectWise, and the billing that you're performing using ConnectWise.